color some VMI alumni can see is red after getting word that cadets will be coloring to get rid of stress before their finals next week. The Institute's cadet peer educators advertise coloring book stations, therapy dogs, and yoga during a reading day event. Things some say have no place on post. WSLS 10's Angela Hatcher now with why the superintendent says they are appropriate. Roger Jarrell is a long time off the rat line. 25 years after graduating from VMI, he hopes his beloved institute isn't too far gone. I have always felt that we need to take a little bit of VMI and apply it to other schools. I just didn't expect that some of what the other schools were doing would apply to VMI. To include coloring and petting dogs, Gerald made a critical comment on social media about college programs to reduce exam stress. I get a private message from a VMI professor that said, Raj, I hate to tell you, but we do that up here now. VMI says it's not handing out coloring books to cadets, but rather single coloring sheets with intricate designs like this one. And the superintendent says that studies show coloring something like this can reduce stress. Well, I believe with these young people, if you set high standards, they'll live up to it. And I worry that we're molly coddling them too much. VMI is not willing to talk about the stress reducers on camera, but in a statement, the superintendent says no one should assume that VMI coddles its cadets or has become soft. In fact, the institute is more difficult academically and physically than my time years ago. General J. H. Binford P. the third further says VMI is committed to cadets well-being and that suicide is on the rise, stating VMI has not been exempt from these tragedies. Despite full reviews of applicants during our admissions process and in hiring practices, we face mental health issues daily. We had an old saying at VMI, the hotter the flame, the tougher the steel. Gerald prefers the tried and true methods to the colorful ones. In Lexington, Angela Hatcher, WSLS 10.